Good morning everybody. Welcome to this week's vlog. How are you all? Um, yeah, I hope you're all okay. Thanks so much for watching my last vlog as well. So lovely to um, read all your comments and have a chat with you there. Um, it's really beautiful today outside, so I've put my favourite dress on and I'm making James do his barbecue because <laughs> I can't do it by myself. So we're going to have a little set up and have a barbecue um, for lunch and dinner. So we're going to cook like, we're going to have burgers for lunch and then we're going to have like different bits of chicken for um, tea tonight with like a salad and stuff. So it's not just wasteful to use the barbecue for two burgers when it would usually cater for so many people for us. Um, but yes, I will take you along on barbecue day and I hope that you're well and having a lovely day. Um, and my dress is from Realization Park and it's honestly one of my favorites. It just makes me feel like sunshine. burger and oh my god it was so good it was everything i'd hoped it was gonna be and more and then we cooked some chicken for later and i just but like the way it barbecue tastes i just can't get over it so we're now we've got loads of shade in our garden so we're now moving to the other part of the garden where we can lay out and actually get some sun for a couple of hours and i'm gonna finish a bottle of wine so i'll see you on the other side probably complaining about a hangover tomorrow <laughs> Good morning guys, from a very sweaty knee. I've just done Danielle Pisa's cardio workout and instead of having a big lunch because my tummy feels a bit unsettled, I'm gonna make um, a protein smoothie that I found on the Cycle Instagram page. Um, but the same food had run out of protein, so I haven't got any protein in this one, but it looks really good, so I'll share it with you. It's eight ounces of almond milk, some a banana, a tablespoon of almond butter, protein if you've got it, a tablespoon of coffee and three ice cubes so um i'll let you know how it tastes once i've done it but i thought that was right up my street and it'll taste really nice and sweet but then be also good for me but i'll put the recipe on for you as well the verdict's in and it's very very good um i think i will get some protein though so it is a bit more filling but it tastes so good it tastes like a naughty chocolate milkshake <laughs> hello everybody um so i'm dressed i've just showered um, I feel a million miles better now. Um, I just wanted to pop on to show you these joggers because they were sent to me and they were a really beautiful gift um, from a brand called the London Cashmere Company. And I love them because everything's a fair price but it's all a completely traceable supply chain from literally the idea to the customer. Uh, everything is responsible and ethical along the way as well. Um, and I just think they are beautiful. Um, they're just black oh my god honestly they're so soft they've got a little um tie waist it's really comfy because sometimes i find they dig in because i'm bigger like around my bottom um and then they just taper down into like a like a i don't know like a, yeah like a ribbed ribbed bottom at the end there but i really like these i'm normally like an 810 and i got the medium um, and i think they fit really well and they've got a little pocket on the bottom too yeah so i just wanted to show you those because they're so comfy and i know it's like getting towards summer but there's forecast rain for the next couple of weeks and it's not that warm in my house <laughs> so I'm going to be living in these I think for much longer than I think <laughs>
afternoon everybody um i hope you're all okay today um the weather is miserable and so am i <laughs> is all i'm gonna say um and also our skies stopped working and the broadband and everything so there's an engineer outside trying to fix it <laughs> hello james james is now we've also got a dodgy light so james is just fixing it and then i um decided i, I would miss my legs and bum workout this morning because my hamstring's really sore i think i've pulled something in my left one and i'm not happy about it so i'm now just gonna do just a moaning cycle today. moaning today moaning mini um, i'm now just gonna do an abs blast on the cycle instagram tv uh because of the 30 minute abs workout on there so I'm very excited to do that. And then I'm just gonna go and hibernate for the rest of the afternoon in the front room with the heating on and my book. <laughs> yes, I am. I can see your boxer shorts, Jay. You live there. We've got our own domains. No, we haven't really. James just loves different films to me, don't you, girl? Yeah. Um, but that's all I've got to say for today, so I'll be careful up there. He just stood on the bench behind me to do the light and the bench nearly collapsed, so he had to fix that first before he stood on it again. Mighty. <laughs> weighty, he's not weighty. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. I am going to go now and do my abs workout, and hopefully, it will make me feel better and get me out of this little funk. Hello, everybody. Um, how are you all? I hope you're all okay. Um, it's Saturday today. I've been wild quiet this week. Um, just been a very strange week, and I've not done much. I've been lower than I have been happier and so I've just listened to myself and tried to make sure that I was looking after myself more than anything really and um, I hope that you're all okay and everything um it's been a funny old week but then everyone that I've spoken to in terms of like my friends and stuff have said the same so there's at least there's a, like a bit of comfort in that even though I don't want anyone else to feel this way either um like I say it's Saturday today and I'm feeling a bit brighter I'm just not sleeping very well so I think that's making it 10 times worse the way I feel because I'm sleep deprived. But today I've found some energy this afternoon. Um, James is cleaning out the garage and he's let me off the task. I'm like, yes. Mm -hmm. So I've just found a little bit of energy to come and shoot some nice things um, for Instagram and my blog and other bits and bobs like that. I think this is really zoomed in. Oh no, it's actually not, it's fine. Just maybe my face is a bit big today, I don't know. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna shoot this beautiful jumper um, from an Australian brand called Arj. Um, and it's got this, oh, it's beautiful big sleeves and it's nice and ribbed and it's so soft, but there's a really good part. Oh, <laughs> I tripped over my rug. A really good party at the back. Can you see? It's like completely, oh, there's a big hole in the back. It's beautiful. I really like that. It's a size up than normal because they didn't have my size left so I thought it's quite long and a bit baggy so I thought maybe I could tuck it into something or maybe have it like cropped a bit so it just meets my jeans and um, when the tailor's open and things like that but yes I really I haven't got that much to tell you apart from I finished that book my year of rest and relaxation and also it's a very self-indulgent book um it's written beautifully and it had me hooked so I would really recommend that and the second book I've just started now it's under the bed here, ready for my bedtime reading. Don't know about you, but I always read at night time more than anything. I can maybe steal like an hour or two in the day, but it's quite rare unless I'm really feeling it. So I always save them for night time because I feel like it gets me off to sleep. And um, it's this one, it's called, it's called Grand Union Stories by Zadie Smith. And lots of people say how amazing a writer she is. And I love a short story. And this is a collection of short stories. So I started it last night. And the first story is, is really, really beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm going to plow through that. So what I might do is shoot, bath, and maybe finish like one of the short stories. Because then that's not that, that much time that I'm just hanging about. Because the weather's a bit off and on today. And we're going to go for a big walk today too. And then I've got a really, we've got a lovely spaghetti tea we're gonna have like pasta spaghetti with um olive oil garlic parmesan basil just like really really simple pasta dish and i've ordered some orange wine so i can't wait to crack that open later i know that's not gonna help my sleep but honestly if anyone needs a glass of wine it's me <laughs> um but i'll catch up with you later and i'm hoping that this vlog is going to be long enough for you all because i feel like i've neglected it so much but i still uh I'll still edit it and put it up even if it is only a little one and try again next week. <laughs> Hello everybody. Hello everybody from me and my fringe. 
I'm really not sure what's happening there. Um, me and James has been for a really big walk. It was so nice um, and much needed as well. So I'm now we're now home and James is going to cook. I can't concentrate because all I can see is that little duck feather. Um, James is going to cook us a pasta for tea and I've, I'm going to crack open a bottle of wine and I cannot bloody wait. I know I told you about this before but um, I'm still very excited. <laughs> um, I wanted to quickly show you something um, that I got for the garden because I'm always lying out on loads of old raggy blankets and the weather's supposed to be looking up and I was like, do you know what? I'm going to treat myself to a really lovely towel. <laughs> I know this is very niche but it's honestly so beautiful and it's yellow. One sec. Right, so it's from Hotel Magic, and this beautiful little postcard came in with it as well. And I just ordered, oh God, it's just so, it's so good and big and like soft and just, oh, loveliness. And it's giant, look how cool this is. I was like, this is so perfect for the garden and it was comfy and it's a proper towel for when it's hot and sweaty and it's not just all over some raggy blankets. So yes, this is what I treated myself to. And I'm obsessed with yellow at the moment because it's just obviously such a chirpy colour. <laughs> yeah, I'm well pleased with that. So at the top it says hotel and it has a lovely pattern and at the bottom it says my duke. Yeah, wonderful, absolutely wonderful. wait for this we've gone for garlic olive oil butter parmesan oh, mixed garlic. pasta oh no garlic oh but we ran out of spaghetti so we had to do a mix cannot wait oh that was a good tea a really good simple quick tea and i'm on glass number two i'm very very happy saturday the sun's shining it's a lovely evening Oh, and now I'm going to go and edit this vlog for you. I'm sorry it's only quite short, but like I say, it's just been a funny week. <laughs> um, but I'll be back next week and I'll try my hardest to make it a more wholesome vlog next week for you. But I hope that you're all okay and that you're having a lovely weekend. And I'll catch up with you next week. And thank you so much for watching. Cheers. Bye.